and welcome back in this video we are going to uh, recreate one of W.E.B. Du Bois visualizations it's a circle chart or as I like to call it a pie sankey because if we take a look at it and we open up tableau you will see we have what looks like a pie chart but really is a comparison across two groups or across two periods and the values look like a pie chart in some form, but they really are just, you know, we kind of scan across the pie to look at the comparisons. So we could see in this case, we are connected to Superstore data, compare West in 2017 versus West in 2020, or Central versus Central sort of seeing that change in the pie. And we're gonna use Tableau Superstore data set because it's easy to connect to and it's a, the base for all the videos we're creating. And you can use this template, this design, however you want. But like I said, we're going to recreate this circle chart, or as I like to call it, a pie sankey in Tableau. So let's hop in to Tableau. We're going to go ahead and create this visualization. And I'm going to just take a closer look at this sheet. What we're gonna have is a connection to the Superstore data set but then we're going to do some densification using Tableau's data model. And we'll bring back several chunks of that data model uh, and split our data out really into what ends up being two halves also split sort of six ways. Um, so you can think about if we're labeling our pi, this is gonna be pi one, pi two, pi three, pi four, pi five, and pi six. That we're going to have show up here. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and create a new sheet. And um, this is usually where my Tableau crashes. It didn't, that's awesome. Let's edit our data source here. And I'll show you uh, what this connection looks like. So let's edit data source. And I've got my Superstore orders and I have a join to a placeholder data set. If you watched any of our videos in the past, you'll know this is a very common practice for the visualizations that we're creating. I have created a separate CSV that counts from zero to 200. And I really, for this visualization, I only need zero to five. Those are the first six values showing up. So I've joined these two data sets together using a many to many join by creating two calculated joins where the values are just each set to one. And in the old way, this duplicates all of Tableau's data. In the new way, using the relationships, it doesn't. And it allows for a little bit faster performance when we're creating this visualization. Anyway, I have my data source. For you, you would just edit the orders table and add in whatever data source that you have. And for this visualization, like I said, using orders, and then we would just join to this a supplemental data set you can create it you don't need to use my data source just note that the column name is value here now i've got my new sheet we want to go ahead and recreate this visual you'll notice i've got a filter and i've got like a placeholder value on columns and then i just have a couple calculations that we need to create in the end so let's go ahead and build this visualization i'm going to first start by building a basic pie chart i'm going to double click on columns type min 0.0. .0. This is gonna be a placeholder that allows us to really size out our pie chart. The next thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and take value and place it out on filters. Make sure you choose all values. Hit okay and then go between zero and five. This will be six values returning. Counting from zero up to five gives us six values. Hit okay, now place value out onto detail, not sum of value, but the actual dimension showing up there. So now that we have a dimension, if I choose pi, or so let's choose pi here, and place value temporarily in color, you'll see we've got our six chunks rolling back here. Now I'm gonna create a calculation that's going to calculate essentially how much of the angles do I want to return. And this is going to, uh, well, before we even go that far, let's get our two comparison calculations created. You'll create a pre and a post, and they need to be in terms of a percentage. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. And let's say um, in this calculation, our pre comparison, our pre comparison, let's say, uh, let's compare 2017 uh, sales to 2020 sales. 
And the way we're going to do this is we are just going to create a fixed LOD. We're going to just say fixed and we're going to say on value comma region. So let's use region as our comparison. Sum if year of order date is equal to 2017 then sales and so this is going to give us 2017 sales as an LOD. I'm going to copy this whole calculation and then I'm going to divide all of this by just value, kind of removing region here. So now that we have this division problem worked out, this will give me a percent by value. I'll just hit apply and I'm going to copy this whole thing because I'm just going to change the year in a second. I'm going to hit OK. Let's do another calculation and call this post comparison. I'm going to paste in my same calculation I just had. Note it, it's all the same with the exception I'm changing 2020 out in our view here. So post comparison. Now that's done. Now we're going to have value 1 and value 4 represent our two comparison periods. Since we read things left to right in this case, but Tableau builds clockwise, we're going to put our pre-comparison at value 4. We're going to sort of fill this chunk with our pre-comparison and fill this other chunk, value 1, with our post-comparison. So let's go ahead and create a new calculated field. And what we will say in here is let's go ahead and say if our value is equal to 5, then we want our pre-comparison. Else if our value is equal to 1, then we want our post comparison. For every other value, we're going to fill it with a placeholder. Now let's, for the time being, say else 0.1 on there. And what this 0.1 means is that the size that we're going to throw in here is 0.1. We know that this pre comparison and post comparison is a percent of the total, so this whole chunk will be a 1. So it's going to be much larger than these other chunks in these uh, values 0, 2, 3, and 4 will be 0.5 in size, and 1 and 4 will be 1 unit in size. Oh, I forgot my end statement. By the way, let's just call this a uh, pi angle. And I'll hit OK. Let's go find pi angle. We'll take pi angle and place it out onto angle. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we had some interesting resorting of our values sort of show up on our view here. Um, whoops, I assigned it to 5, didn't I? I can tell just because that chunk is really big. Let's reassign that back to 4. So there it is. There's our comparison groups. And now they sort of have that nice look and view to it. From here, we need to um, create our labels. And our labels are going to be, we did this by region for our analysis, so we're going to create a new calculated field. Once again, we're just going to say if our value is equal to zero, uh, 1 or our value is equal to 4, then we want region. Else, empty quotes. And I don't really need that else statement, but I'm just going to add it in there just for a nice clean finish. And we'll just call this pi color. I'm going to hit OK. Let's go find pi color. We'll add that to color, changing out our value here. We're going to have to just go get value. Uh, let's hit Control Z quick. What I want to do is keep value on our view, so I'm just going to put that on detail. And then we can go find that pi calculation of color, add it back to color now. And you'll see if sort of things look a little bit funky. That's because we need to keep value at the top of our marks card, and that'll keep everything separated out nice and neat. Notice we now have these comparisons happening. Just fit this entire view, and let's size this up quite a bit. You know, we're practically there with our visualization when it comes down to it. These pie chunks, by the way, I'm not digging. So we could edit our pie angle here, and we could just call it 0.05. And if I hit apply, we'll see that that angle has shrunk down significantly. And I could even go to 0.25, hit apply. And once again, that chunk is now much, much smaller. So it's that else value really controls what will be the padding here. And I'll hit OK. On the color now, we can just double click on blue. And we could change this custom, double click on the blue, and go FF, FF, FF. This is just the background color. If you have a different background color, you could set it to whatever. And then I'm going to um, go
you'll find my workout Wednesday color palette and just assign those four values out. If you like this tip, by the way, I just multi-selected the colors and then hit assign palette. If you like that, go ahead and like the video. Um, but I'll just assign those colors and now we have sort of this Sankey comparison. They're all fairly close, so we're not seeing a ton of differentiation, but it is something. Let's just add pie color, click, uh, hold control, click and drag on the label as well. And you can have those labels. Again, pie color move to the top, but if we just keep value right where it's supposed to be, uh, we'll continue to have that value. Let's just right click on pie angle and duplicate that calculation. And then we can edit that calculation. For here, I think what we could do is if you want like the raw number of sales, you could just type in here uh, sales for both the pre and post comparison. And you could get rid of this else statement altogether. And we could just call this pi label. And I could hit apply. And I could take pi label and add this out on label. And you'll notice. I get the raw numbers to show up. If you wanted this to be the percentage, you could actually just have left your pre-comparison and your post-comparison directly in here and it would return that percentage as well. Um, a little bit funky here with this percentage because it just is supposed to be a uh, dimension. But like I said, the values will come back correct and allow for that circular Sankey comparison. Let's leave it as a percentage because that really represents what Du Bois did originally, and I'm just going to format this and make it a percentage to go with it. Uh, perfect. The last bit, this is going to come as no surprise as we finish up this video, we're left to do a little bit of formatting. And the formatting is really simple. Right click, format, we're going to go over to our lines, we're going to remove our grid lines. We're going to remove our zero lines, we're going to remove our axis rulers, and we're going to remove our axis ticks. From there, you can right click on this min 0.0, .0 axis and uncheck show header. Anyway, this is the visualization. This is W.E.B. Du Bois circular chart, or as I like to call it, a pi Sankey, because the comparison of Sankeys, uh, a Sankey is a pre post value, and that's really what we're doing. We have a flow that's going from the left, our start value, to our right. Uh, and comparing those groups. And it's sort of mirrored across this pie chart. Of course, Dubois is sort of angled 90 degrees differently here. But in Tableau, this is our limitation that we're left working with. And we get a really awesome visualization out of it, following some amazing historical visualizations by Dubois. Anyway, that's our visualization. Uh, if you did enjoy this build, go ahead, like the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again.